Hello, hello. It has been a while. Far too long. Um, yeah, I've been gone for a long time, but just wanted to hop on here and chit chat with you all and give you some insight on to what's been going on in my life and the reason that I've been gone for almost two months or longer than two months. I didn't check for sure. Um, so firstly, just had a lot of personal family things come up in my life. Um, that took a lot of my time and also directly affected, you know, the headspace I was in and things like that. Um, so making YouTube videos just wasn't a priority. Neither was playing RuneScape, you know, 3 or OSRS or any video games for that matter. Um, and then also while all that stuff was going on, me and my wife have been in the process of buying our first house. I am happy to say that we closed. We are moved in. Um, still got a little bit of unpacking to do, but we've been in here about a week. So that is really exciting and finally have a dedicated space, you know, to play video games and make content for you guys, which I'm really excited about. But that is kind of the Spark Notes version of why I've been gone for longer than expected. I do want to just apologize for the lack of communication. I know I made one community post that said, you know, it was going to be about an extra week or so. And that turned into, again, almost two months. So in hindsight, I wish I would have been a little bit more mindful and maybe communicated that it was going to be a little longer with you all, especially since I was still receiving comments and messages, um, even while I wasn't making videos, which firstly, I just want to say to anybody who still went back and watched the videos or clicked on the channel to check to see if there's new content or even left a comment on one of the videos or the community post, um, you know, expressing that you were excited about content or hoping that everything was okay. I really, really appreciate it. Um, means a lot. Obviously this is not a job. This is just a hobby and something I've wanted to do for a long time in terms of making YouTube videos. And then, you know, the added bonus of kind of exploring RS3 and seeing what RuneScape has turned into and not just being so narrow and focused on just playing old school RuneScape because it reminds me of what the game used to be when I was a kid and played a lot. Um, so obviously the support from you all is what keeps me wanting to make these videos. It makes me excited to know that people wait for this and people enjoy the content that I make. Um, because again, it's been something I've wanted to try for a long time. So knowing that people recognize that, appreciate that, and are willing to kind of go through the growth stage with me um, as I become better and better, hopefully with each video, at making content for you all that is enjoyable, entertaining, um, and personable as well. But yeah, so that's kind of everything I wanted to come on here and say. Again, I really appreciate all the support previously and while I've been gone again it means so much to me especially throughout everything that was going on in my personal life it was nice to know that you know some of you all were waiting around for videos but with that being said the only other note that I have is that in this video it will be a longer one I want to make sure I give you guys plenty of content to hopefully make up a little bit for the lack of content over the last couple of months but obviously some of the clips are a little bit older um, because I was still trying to press through and get a video out at least you know even if it was a month late or three weeks late um, I really did try but as you all know it did not happen that way so if you notice any audio differences or if the flow just doesn't seem to be smooth, it's, be it's because it's been two months since I have logged into the game. Um, I think RuneScape told me 37 days when I logged in today. So been a little bit over a month since I've logged in. So a little bit rusty. I appreciate you all listening to me ramble and chit chat. That is enough yapping from me and we can jump right into the video so i hope you all enjoy this longer video i'm excited to be back and again hopefully there'll be a new video next week as well thank you all hello hello so last episode we definitely got ahead of ourselves with forgetting about the herb lore requirement for a fairy tale part two to do fairy rings 
But that's all good because in this episode, I have a few more quests that I want to do. The biggest one being Evil Dave's Day Out, I think is what the title is. I could be wrong. But other than that, there's just a few other kind of minor things that I would like to do this episode. But with the general layout set, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first quest on the list that I'm going to get out of the way is swept away. Firstly, because I've just seen Maggie sitting here and I've always wondered what this is. Pretty sure it was released as a Halloween quest, but it also will get me the broomstick, which is a quick teleport to the Shanty Pass. And I'm lazy and I'm tired of walking from the front of Alcarid all the way around, which is a very small thing to be annoyed about, but even an RS, an OSRS, because I don't have that agility shortcut, it, it pisses me off. So that is what I'm doing here. So let's see what I have to do for her. All right, I just have to help her with a potion and enchanting a broomstick. Okay. Just have Huddy, Betty, and Aggie. Okay. So I just have to go visit the witches. Yep, I can do that for you. It's kind of a baddie. All right, well, the easiest one will be to go see Aggie right here in Draenor. All right, Aggie, I'm back again. This time, I'm not asking for dyes. I'm asking for brooms. Space and privacy. Okay. Oh, God, not this fucking place again. So it's rather convenient. Yes, I see the pattern. How could I miss it? Sweep away four of those 16 lines such that you leave only fall four Jesus small triangles on the ground and nothing else okay right here right here this is the easiest runescape puzzle I think I've ever done this one made me feel like a genius Okay, can I, can you, do you teleport me out now? Okay, sweet. Okay, and then now I'm going to go over to Betty in Port Serum. As I'm pretty sure that's the closest one because then the other witch is in Remington. So yeah, it's just a straight line over. All right, what up, Betty? I don't think I've ever stepped foot in this shop yet in RS3. Um, da, da, da. okay, I didn't even know this had a basement. I feel like it doesn't in old school, but whatever. All right, I need to retrieve her wand. Let's see, you're not going to be able to get that wand open until order has been restored. Okay. You'll see that there's six separate chambers, each of which is designed to house a little critter. Each creature has an enclosure that has been made especially for it, but at the moment, several of them are out of place. Okay, they don't like each other, so I'm going to assume that I can't put two animals in the same one at the same time. Yep, first you can't carry more than one creature at a time. Second, you can't carry a creature through the door of a chamber which contains another one. One by one, you can use a holding pen. Okay, so that's the holding pen. You shouldn't have to move the bat and the snail at all. Damn it, dude, I need to fucking like write this down or something. This is the issue with class. I have to get sticky notes and write shit down and then I forget everything. Okay, so I, one at a time and bat and snail don't move. Okay. Okay, and I get a magic slate to keep track of them. So, the bat and the snail are good. The rat is in the spider pen. Whatever the fuck that is. What is that? Is that the spider? Okay, what? Okay. So the black, wait, the black bird is also in the right one. So, what if I move the black bird Put that into a holding sail. 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 Move, okay. Move creature. I'm gonna move the rat into the black bird. And then, is this, 
Who's this? Oh, okay. So no, that's that's okay. So that's the spider. Move it into the spider pen. The rat or the reptile? Yeah, reptile. Move that into the reptile. Move the rat into the rat, and then the blackbird into the blackbird pen. And then that should be it. See, I wish all the RuneScape puzzles were as easy as this. Yeah, this is easy. I love this. I don't know if it's just because I haven't played in a long time, and by a long time I mean like two weeks, um, but I feel like my brain cells are really redeveloping. Okay, I just, yeah, I, why did I talk to you? I just need to talk to Betty, talk to her about Swept Away, she's gonna enchant that, put some little space. And now it is time for the witch in Remington, which I forget her name. Hattie? Hattie? I think? I don't fucking know. Again, I don't know what I'm saying half the time. Oh, I was wrong about the name three times. It's Hetty. Yep, Maggie asked me for your help. Ointment, okay. Excellent. But first I'll need a new... Okay. Um... Where's your cellar? Oh, right there. I really just need to look around before I question things. Okay, I'm assuming I talked to Gus. A new t toady sort of problem. I'm afraid you see the labels on the crate have somehow got mixed up. One of the crates contains just newt. One contains just toads. One contains a mixture. Put a wrong label on all three crates. I can't remember. Okay. Okay, so I just have to sort out the labels. How oh, I can't disturb them. Situations like this, a person can figure out exactly what is in all three crates by only taking one item from one crate. How to figure it out. Each and every crate has the wrong label. Here are the labels you can put on the crate. Okay. So every crate is labeled wrong. I'm only allowed to take out one crate. I feel like I've done this in like a fucking math class. Too bad I didn't pay much attention in school. I mean, in college, I guess I paid attention too, but like... I was also high as hell in college all the time, so... Yeah, I guess my education did not pay off. One hour later. Okay, wait, so this one's wrong. So whichever, so this one has to be one of the two. So if I take one out of here, I pull a toad. So this one will be a toad one. And then, well, both of these are wrong. One hour later. So this will be a lizard one, I'm assuming? Oh yeah, okay. So that's a toad. Oh, God. I, I'm i going to go with this is the lizard, and this is a combination one. Boom. God, dude, I am smarter than I think I am sometimes. I didn't need to pay attention to my expensive education in college. I went to public school every other section of my life, so that wasn't- that was just taxpayer money. Government was gonna take that anyways. Okay. Back to Maggie for... the finale of the quest. Hey, little mama, I'm back. Oh god. Oh god. Wrong- wrong- wrong dialogue. Oh wait, what? I- I did visit all of them. Oh, I have to... Uh, yep. Okay. Finish the good stuff off. We need to give it a good old stir with that broomstick. Of course I can do that for you. I'll stir your potion. Okay. And then talk to you. Help yourself to ten bowls. 
There's a bowl you can use. You can also keep my broom. Yep. Okay, perfect. That is swept away, completed. And then I have no clue what this does. So let's see. I'm just going to drink it. Oh, okay. It's skills. Oh, God. I have to... Actually, I don't even have to think about this. All right. I'm going to... Oh, God. Dude, I have to get another bowl for... Can you just give me 10 bowls, please, and not make me go through this dialogue every time? <sighs> okay, well, I will be back after I put this XP into Herb Lore 10 times. And that is 35 Herb Lore. Getting up there only by throwing all the quest rewards into Herb Lore, which I should have done earlier, especially with those XP lamps from... Um... Oh, what's that quest? Violet is blue, too. Where they were like 10,000 XP and I put them into fucking construction. I have 48 construction and got like 20 levels from new foundations. You live and you learn, I guess. All right. And with the 10 bowls, I got 35 herb lore. Did not get another level. But with that... Can I use this? Oh, I okay. I have to talk to her to see what enchantments I can get. So let's see what enchantments who I need to talk to. Okay, so I will have to go talk to the apprentice in Alcrid, which is fine because I'm going there anyways, because I think the next quest on the agenda is the golem. All right, what? You have too much homework. Oh, I have to finish the diamond in the rough quest. What is that? No, no, god damn it. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna ignore that for a second. Where is that quest? Oh, because I was looking at mini quests. God, I am truly an idiot sometimes. I, I did complete it. What are you talking about? What? Hold on. Do you enchant this broomstick for me? No, I have too much homework to do at the moment. Let's finish Diamond and Rough and talk to... Oh, okay, I have to talk to Osman. Okay, gonna go do that. It's helpful if, uh, you know, you read dialogues, which is something I'm not very good at sometimes. All right, let's try this again. Can you enchant this broomstick? Oh, God, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go through all this dialogue and hopefully I can get this girl to enchant the broomstick. Okay. Yes. Now my broomstick is finally enchanted. And if I teleport, does it teleport me right here or to the garden? Okay. And then I can just drink from the fountain and I'm right by Shanty Pass, which honestly, probably not that much quicker. It probably saves me like... Oh, with that long black screen, this is probably going to save me like two seconds at most. But... Whatever, I'll take it. I'm lazy. All right, time to get my stuff ready for the desert and then to go do the golem. All right, the only other thing I need is papyrus, which I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm 90% sure that I can get them from the general store in Kurumja. So let's head over there and see if I'm right. Of course I'm right. When am I wrong? I also am going to buy a couple of these and a couple of charcoal because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need these down the road. Before I forget, I think the last time I talked to May was at 50 quest points. So I'm going to claim. OK, yeah, that's all I have. So I get one dice roll. Is there anything else I can get? Oh, qu oh, oh, I am 90 percent sure this dude does something for me. Quest supplies and then fetch. I'm going to make sure that the lore hound actually gives me something because I don't know what quest supplies it would give me. It, either it's going to fetch from, from the bank for me or it just has like a couple basic quest supplies. But before I check on that on the wiki, let's see what I get from my magical dice. Probably just going to be more money, which I will take. Yes, that is 250k. I will add that. And then a sleeping cap, which is worth... 1.4 mil so again something for invention and then real quick gonna check about lorehound okay yes i was right it just has a couple of 
quest items that are useful a rope bullseye lantern two law runes and a spade and then i mean i don't know if there's anything else important i'm gonna i'm gonna look real quick to see if there's anything else that help Ooh, portal which teleports you to the start of the latest quest interesting i might just wait to use that but now i have lore hound so i have free rope spades and bullseye lanterns okay time to stop being distracted gonna put this sleeping cap in the bank get my broom and head over to the golem honestly i'm so tired of being out in the desert too but here we are about to start the golem and if i remember this dude reminds me of a cartoon character um oh what is it Oh, I'll have to, I'll have to clip it in. I'll have to edit it in once I remember, but I know I'm going to remember this. This dude reminds me of a cartoon character with this little fucking face. And he's stressed. Okay, I remember this. He's broken. We need to fix him. Well, we have to write an incantation or something. Um, but yeah, I'll be back at a different part of the quest. And by a different part of the quest, I mean two seconds later when I use the soft clay on him. Okay, damage repaired. Great enemy. Yep, that demon. Okay, so there's four patterns, and I'm pretty sure I have to go down here. Yeah, and then I have to turn those in a specific way, which... I don't exactly remember that there's a fourth one missing. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some thinking real quick because I kind of forget what I'm supposed to do, but I do know that I need a black mushroom. I do remember that much. I actually need a couple, I think, because I have to dye this. I have to dye these robes black and the silver light. And I'm just going to grab like six. Okay, I was down there for a little while and I couldn't think of what to do and then I remembered that in OSRS I was stuck because yep I didn't pick up this letter read it and then 90% sure I go to the dig site yes I go to the dig site I don't know I'll figure it out first of all some of you would be extremely proud of me because I'm actually reading a book not a real book a book in RuneScape some of you may be proud of just that second part, but I'm saying that because all this book told me was, yeah, the damage was done by a demon and that's what the golems want to kill. That's what I got out of it. So to those people who make like lore videos, either like lore playthroughs or specific like long form lore videos about video games, specifically RuneScape, I got to give you guys props because you guys are out here doing the Lord's work, reading 800 random books in RuneScape. So then I can sit down and watch a 15 minute video that took 30 hours to create just to barely remember the lore because I'm watching it while playing RuneScape. So respect to y'all. I, I got to give it to y'all. I'm just proud that I read a book. Does it matter that it was only five pages, six pages long? No, not at all, because I still read one. That's going in my Goodreads. All right, got to talk to the curator. I've done this man so many disservices throughout the years. Um, it's in a display case. I need to take it away. Yeah, let's see how he takes that. Okay, well, I'm going to steal it anyways, probably. Or do Actually, wait, nope, nope, nope. I need to pickpocket him. I need to get the key, I remember. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to steal that, and I'm pretty sure it's upstairs, and then go back to the golem. I'm glad I saw this dude standing here, because I remember I need... Oh, fucking course, I don't get it. Let's try it again. Okay. Come on. A 45 thieving, it shouldn't be this hard. Oh, God. I thought I wasn't going to have to cut this out, but if I fail again, I'm going to have to. Okay, there we go. No, do I need another one? Okay, no, I don't need another one. All right, time to get back to the golem. Put that there. Turn it. 
Um, to the right? Okay, yeah, I think. I, okay, you need to go that way. You need to go that way. Perfect. And then we go in here and we do something. Okay. It's thrown. Remove gems. I did not know you could do this. But I, I love gems. So, oh. Name the gems from a demon throne. Okay. Um, do I actually need to do anything? I actually don't even think I needed to come in here. Yeah, I don't think I did. I just needed to know about... Well, no, I didn't need to go in there because I needed to see the dead demon body. And then I talked to this dude again. And then I used the papyrus on a letter to let him know that we're all good. Demon is dead. Okay, and then... Papyrus. Um... Oh, wait, no, no, I use this on that. And then I use that on that. And then I use that on him. Oh, come on. Okay, now can I do it? What the hell? Is there no way for me to do that? Oh, uh, wait. Yep, use that. Then use this. Okay. And then that should be quest completed. 1,000 thieving, 1,000 crafting, phoenix feather, magic carpet route, that's nice. And get six gems, already did that. Okay, and then I think I just talked to him again. Okay, no, I don't talk to him again to start um, Shadow of the Storm. So let's see how I start that. S's are way down here, Shadow of the Storm. Okay, south of the bank in Alcrid. Perfect. Gonna ride my broomstick there. Oh, there he is. Oh, you're looking for me. Okay, silver light, silver bar, empty vial, three piece black outfit, level 84 demon. Okay, that's me. Yep, only with silver light. Okay, he's gonna summon the demon. And I remember I just have to go and kill the demon. So I will be back in the next section, which I kind of forget what it is, but I'll look at the quest log. All right, and that is 54 divination. Do I get anything? No, I do not. Okay, but back to doing the actual quest at hand, Shadow of the Storm. So I apologize. I thought I was recording that whole quest. I haven't taken a look at where I ended the recording yet. So I'm hoping I at least got some of the quest, but I did just realize that the last, at least the half of the quest, I was not recording at all. Um, so yeah, I completed Shadow of the Storm and I used the 10,000 XP lamp for combat on magic. I got a magic level, um, got the dark light and everything else that comes along with it. Um, I used it on magic because I wanted to be able to get one level closer to high alchemy because instead of relying on Maze Caravan for money every 25 quest points, I would rather just have a consistent way that I can make money by myself without depending on that because I don't know if it continues to give money every 25. But other than me forgetting to record, a whole quest which again i apologize for um i'm gonna open up some wilderness flash event rewards because i have a couple and just curious to see what i get so we got some bolts magic logs that is nice black salamanders bloodweed seeds muddy keys red chinchampas radiant energy brilliant energy and some salvage i don't think any of that's too crazy but Oh well. But I do believe Shadow of the Storm is the last quest requirement before I can do the freeing Evil Dave mini quest for Recipe for Disaster. So I'm going to walk downstairs and do that. And I will make sure this time that I am actually recording the quest because I probably recorded none of it, but I'm hoping that I recorded at least the beginning of it. It's wild to me how much Rune Light in OSRS has spoiled me because 
Tears of Gothics I used to just make into like a fun little game of realistically how many points I could get because of the timer that Runelite gives you. But in this it's just like very like I'll take two minutes, do it, and get some levels, which just got six summoning levels. So that pushes me up to 25. But yeah, it's just minor things like that that I'm noticing that Runelite has almost made too easy for me. Um, to where it's kind of like a joke and you have to make it somewhat difficult. Not even difficult, but just like not super mindless. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd throw that little tidbit of information in. Still working on just doing some random things that I needed to get done since I haven't been on in a while. While I have my cat out with me until it gets done being a fucking baby. But with that, I think I'm going to go and run and do my god statues. Jump it in real quick. That is 50 construction, and I might get a prayer level as well. Nope. But 50 construction. All right, and that is 50 prayer, and then 51 construction. 50 prayer just gets me protect items and a couple of other things. And then construction doesn't really matter, but I can do a portal chamber now, which I will never use, but oh well. And then obviously some quest requirements. Awesome with that, I'm gonna bring out my cat back and go sit at the Citadel for a while and cap that. And finally, after weeks of saying I would get it, finally got 50 smithing. So sometime here, probably after I'm done capping, I'm gonna go get some runite ore and go ahead and upgrade all my armor and weapons to rune. So exciting progress. But I will be back once I'm done capping the Citadel. A month and a half later and I still have not capped Citadel. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now um, is capping the Citadel after my hiatus. Um, thankfully, while I've been doing this, my kitten grew into a cat. So I put the cat away and once I cap the Citadel, I'm going to do the rat catching part of free and evil dave for recipe for disaster i believe that's the last part of that mini quest for recipe to, for disaster that i need to complete and then i will finally be able to complete free and evil not free and evil dave evil dave's adventure um which is the quest that i set out to do two months ago um, but I will be back once I am done capping the Citadel. I will probably get another smithing level and then move on to crafting just because I don't want to sit here all day. Yeah, I will be back once I am done here and on to the next section of Free Evil Dave. Dang, I am rusty. I missed the smithing level, but that is 52 smithing. I'm gonna finish up this round and then just go right over to the crafting just to cap the citadel, get my bonus XP, and then continue onwards. 62 farming, obviously finished capping the citadel, got 52 smithing from it. Now doing farming real quick. And I think that is about it before I finally actually do the quest that I've been trying to do for, again, two months. And that is 40 herb lore, doing some herby warby real quick. With that, just got up to 57 divination and got another piece of the diviner's outfit so with that i'm pretty sure all i'm missing is the handwear and that will give me an extra six percent divination xp awesome last time i was in this basement was when i did a construction grind for my paoh in osrs like probably like almost a year ago now and being back down here legitimately gives me ptsd this is one of my most hated areas in RuneScape just because, I mean, it is awful. The grind to get all the spices and play the guessing game with the construction boost was terrible. But finally here, going to get it out of way. I think I just need to talk to Doris because she's going to tell me that all the rats stole the spices. And then I think... I just need to drop my pet cat, interact with, and chase vermin. It will go. It will hopefully kill it. And then I get orange spices and ashes, which I'm actually going to pick up a couple of the ashes. But 
I will be back once I have enough of the spices. I think my goal is to probably get, um, I don't even know how many spices I need. I'm just going to go until I feel like I have enough. But yeah, I will be back with the spices. Holy hell, I forgot truly how annoying this is. This dude has let the rats escape like five times in a row. Um, but my goal is hopefully I'm going to try to get one more four dose or even like a two dose of the red spice. I think four slash five of each spice will give me enough wiggle room. So if I mess up, because I kind of forget what I actually need to do. I know I need to make this the stew, but like I forget if I have to talk to Evil Dave while doing it and he indicates it somehow. Regardless, um, I think again, four or five of each spice will give me enough wiggle room to where if I mess up and when I mess up, I'll still have enough spices to finish it in one try without having to come back. So gonna try to get one more spice if I if my cat can ever catch anything. Honestly, this is awful. So of course, another orange spice. I'm gonna give it like a couple more times and I'm just gonna have to hope that three is enough if I don't get any more red spice. But I will be back when I'm making the spicy stew. And there's a red spice. Sweet. I think that is good for now. So now time to go back to Evil Dave in Lumbridge. And I will need to bring my stews that I have. I'm back down here already because, yeah, I don't go to Evil Dave in Lumbridge. I go to the Evil Dave right here and do it. So if I remember correctly, the best way to do it is pretty much add like one red spice to it and then have him taste it. And then go from there. The next one, I'll make two if it's if he says none of the spices are right and kind of a process of elimination. So I will be back when I have made the evil soup for evil Dave fucking jackass. All right, that is done. Got it without having to go and buy more stew because I didn't want to go all the way to Sears Village and buy more. So thankfully I got it on the last one and a little bit of guessing. But with that, I should just be able to go back to Lumbridge, enter the dining room, feed it to them. And that is Free and Evil Dave completed. So let's just go on this journey together. Pass through the barrier. Use spicy stew on Evil Dave. And there we go. Yep, yeah, it's just evil. All right, perfect. So that is the last thing I needed to do before I do Evil Dave's big adventure or big day or whatever the hell it is. And I got a quest point, 7,000 cooking XP, ability to make spicy stew, catch hell rats, and obviously increased access to the Colomancer's chest. And that got me a cooking level, 46 cooking. So now if I go to my quest, if I scroll down, ch -ch -ch, Evil Dave's big day out. Yep. Follows the events. Don't really care that much. Awesome. Yeah. So that is all the requirements. And now it is time to finally do Evil Dave's big day out. So I will be back in Edgeville talking to Dave in his mom's basement because he's a fucking loser. All right. And that is 58 divination and no item. So unfortunately, I didn't get to finish the divinant diviners set but got one more divination level does that give me anything useful i can transmute an uncut dragonstone nice i'm not gonna worry about that but all right now after that on to edgeville yo doris once i'm done with your uh goofy ass son you wanna hang out later she said yeah all right, but now it is time to finally start Evil's Evil Dave's big day out. About damn time. Oh, dude, this dude's a fucking loser. All right, dude, everything's evil. I get it. Gub, gub, gub. Nobody cares. 
I kind of forget the premise of this quest too. Oh, did we just swap? Yep, we did. God, dude, now I'm a fucking loser. That's what happens when you play too much RuneScape. <laughs> you become evil day living in your mom's basement. Alright, and now I'm assuming that I probably have to do his chores for him because he's a lazy loser. So, is this really all that? It's all this. This is all the quest is. As I'm in Dave's body and he's in mine and he's doing some big old adventure because my playable character is sick. Oh, fine, I'll help. I'm a bad influence. Okay. Oh no, I'm grounded. All right, well, exciting gameplay. I'm not going to show you me doing chores because, I mean, RuneScape's a boring game, but damn, I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. And this dude isn't just a loser. He's nasty too. Got bed bugs. Ugh. I mean, it makes sense. He lives with in a basement with a bunch of fucking rats. Oh, lordy. What? Okay. Not everything's about evil, buddy boy. Bell before the dark, your lord. Oh. All right, a quick transition. Uh, and then I'm okay, because he's in Valador. So I'm going to meet him halfway. Can I just oh, I have to use his spell book? Oh, maybe I can't. Evil is about. Oh, there we go. David Lena. Okay, so I can't. Oh, yep. Okay, there we go. Evil Dave sucks, dude. Oh, I get to see what's in his bank. Oh, my goodness. I win an Earth Rune. Okay. Flask of Stew, Pocket Sand, Crystal Acorn, Love Letter, Job Application, an Old Rug. I have no clue, dude. All right. Uh, maybe I need to. Wait, why can't I use the GE? Is David Iron Man? Oh, I need um errands. Oh my god, I have to go fetch him a drink. All right, I'll be back. I'm assuming he just wants a beer. Oh wait, in the bank, he had a flask. I can use it on him. Okay, nope. Yes. Yep, it's one of my stew. Okay. So, Bill. I'm assuming I just have to use like water it down. Okay. Nope. Close that out. Do that. Nothing interesting happens. I'll drink it. Fill. Okay. Not gonna fill it. There we go. That is disgusting. Delicious. Oh, that's gross. All right. Hopefully this time I'm actually in the right place. Yep, I am. Um, kill a defenseless cow. At least somebody's has half an IQ point here. All right, going through his dialogue. Change me into a woman, please. Davelina. Makeover mage really is just <laughs> done with our shit. Davina, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and she teleported me home. What a nice lady. Oh, God. I didn't leave the house. Oh, the hell wrap the basement. <laughs> is this quest just... I feel like the whole purpose of this quest is just to make you realize how much of a loser Evil Dave is. And I'm loving it. I also really like that this quest has a lot of, um, first of all, fourth wall breaks, but also references to real life things. Like this, French brush Prince of Bel Air. Let's see what she says to that. Okay, she did not like that. Oh, lordy. I'm double grounded. All right, I'll do all the chores again, I guess. Let's see what Dave's up to. Oh, this dude's gonna... Evil Dave's gonna get smacked. Where am I now? He got got by this slug mine. You high points have to be select. Damn, dude. Evil Dave is... Catching strays. All quest. One thing, though, that Evil Dave would do with his one remaining IQ point is if he was watching this video and he like he watched my content and enjoyed it he would like and subscribe so you guys should be even smarter than Dave and if you're enjoying the content like the video subscribe and leave a comment and let me know what can be improved or what you're enjoying but back to living this loser life 
All right, gotta tell her all the chores are done again. Ooh, I get to sneak out. I have roughly 20 minutes. Yep, I'm ready to sneak in. So let's see what's up. So there's a handwritten note. What does it say? Can I search the suit of armor? Oh, yep, I have a helmet. Um, can I use this? Spec, bottom, definitely hold something, maybe a head. Thanks. Can I search these? Oh, some gunpowder. Oh, wait, I can put this in there. And that's oil filled. Aha! Now all I need is a light. Um, oh, poke torch. Um, okay, I'm assuming use the knight's helmet. Of course, I misclicked. Okay, I, I don't know where to throw it. Oh, damn, Dave. What a cannon. Oh, did I just... Did I just commit a murder? Yep, I just committed a murder. Eh, wouldn't be the first time. Alright, pick up the charred white boots. I don't know if I need those. I don't think so, but I'm going to take them. Alright, what path do you take? Assuming I need to avoid y'all. Oh, this is dicey. Oh! Am I in the clear? Nope, I'm not in the clear. Alright, well I will be back once I clear this. I'm honestly embarrassed about how long that little sneaking part took. Probably took me about 10 minutes looking at it, looking at the time now. Um, so that's a little bit embarrassing, but now I'm here. So I would assume I talked to him because he has that. He's pottery. Break me, I do not shatter, sing it with me. Okay, he's really drunk. What you got for me? What? Some moonlight mead. Okay. okay. I got you, bud. Bandit's brew. Here you go, buddy. Mind bomb. There you go, boss. Dude's an absolute unit. Oh, fuck. Wrong, wrong thing. Oh, god damn it. Can I drop it? Oh, he... Okay, he switched it up. All right. Oh, he loves me. That's... that's not, Or he loves Dave. That's nice. Oh, god. Not this again. Am I going to be triple grounded? I'm triple grounded. Oh lordy. Incredibly shiny bed. Alright, let's see where what Dave is up to now. If you some shall pass. Dave, wake up. What the hell? Kevin? Who the hell's Kevin? It's a a hell rat? What? What the hell? Get it? What the hell? Hell rat. <laughs> See, I wish I could say that I'm not being a keyboard warrior in this, but like, or a space bar warrior, but I can't recruit. Sure, I'll recruit Terry. Ryan? Okay. Do I just have to recruit a bunch? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm building a rat army. Sir, yes, sir. All right. I think I got enough rats. No, 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 no. I did not mean to do that. I need to talk to Shanty Boy. Oh wait, I can't. Okay, I'm down rope. Thank you. All right, talk to this dude, and I'll be back when I get through the desert or wherever I'm going next. I have no fucking clue where this quest is taking me. All right, got through with the Hellrat army, and now there's a bunch of holes. Did that one? Oh, that one's shining. And in the hole up, oh, and then I'm gonna send them in there. <laughs> Ryan's hearing voices in his head again. Oh lordy. Alright, I will be back when I'm through with this because I'm assuming I will probably mess up multiple times. Don't like the looks of this. Alright, I'm hoping this is the end. Not by mom. It's like a scene from Step Brothers. I'm not calling him dad. Ever. Even if there's a fire. Dude, you can make a difference. Just stop being a fucking loser. Why did I let him tie me up? Did we just start another god war? Is that the climax of this quest? The fact that we are literally going to start another god war? I'm grabbing this loser. 
Oh, lordy, dude. Oh, no. Ah, Doris. Okay, we're home. And now, me and my bed. Gotta catch some hell rats. Oh, five of them. And then, hopefully this quest will be done. Because <laughs> I'm tired of being in his body. We're gonna do a ritual. Okay, da 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 da. Oh, no. Whose body am I waking up in? Oh, wait. I'm in mine again. Oh, Doris is Evil Dave now. Okay. And that is 50,000 magic XP, 20,000 herb lore, 20,000 agility, 20,000 cooking. I can catch hell rats with my bare hands. Eating spicy stews now has a better chance of giving me positive stat boost. Always, always boost the stat by two. We'll do a chip teleport tablet to an alternative teleport destination. Awesome. So let's do the lamps real quick. Let's open that up. 50,000 magic XP pushes me up to 52. So that is desert treasure. Ancient spell book, which I need to complete desert treasure for. Snare, smoke rush, blah, blah, blah. I ban staff. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Herb lore, 20,000, 45. Does that get me something? Prayer mix, divination, yeah, no, not really. Alright, agility, 20,000. That pushes me up to 41. Damn, six. Got me six levels. Um, a bunch of quest requirements, and then cooking, 20,000. That should push me up to 48 from 46, and can't really do anything with that. But that quest is finally out of the way. That took fucking forever get me first of all get me out of this dude's house all right now that i finally accomplished the goal that i set out to do almost two months ago um completing evil dave's big day out i think that's where we're going to leave off on the video um hopefully a lot happened this video i mean i did some quests and did some other stuff but hopefully it's worth a watch all right, with that semi-enjoyable quest out of the way, that concludes the goal that I set out to do about two months ago. Um, took a little bit longer than expected, but it is done. Evil Dave's big day out is completed, and that was the goal that I set out to do for this video two months ago. Um, so with that, this is where we are going to leave off. Again, I just want to say thank you all for the support while i was putting out weekly videos and while i've been gone as well i'm super excited to be back i've already been having a blast getting back into it kicking some rust off um especially in terms of making these videos too and talking to the microphone um took me a little bit while to get back into the groove of things but with that being said if you enjoyed the content please like the video subscribe comment tell me what you liked about the video tell me what you didn't like about it Tell me how excited you are for me to be back or tell me how you were hoping that I would be gone forever. Um, regardless, any feedback's appreciated, but I appreciate you all and I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.